Chapter 65. Isaiah 65, 1-25. God's reply in justification of his dealings with Israel. In Isaiah 64, 9, their plea was, We are all thy people. In answer, God declares that others, Gentiles, would be taken into covenant with him, while his ancient people would be rejected? The Jews were slow to believe this, hence Paul says, Romans 10, 20, that Isaiah was very bold in advancing so unpopular a sentiment, he implies what Paul states, Romans 2, 28, 9, 6, 7, 11, 1 to 31, that they are not all, in opposition to the Jews' plea, Isaiah 64, 9, Israel which are of Israel. God's reason for so severely dealing with Israel is not changeableness in him, but sin in them, Isaiah 65, 2-7. Yet the whole nation shall not be destroyed, but only the wicked, a remnant shall be saved, Isaiah 65, 8-10, 11-16. There shall be, finally, a universal blessedness to Israel, such as they had prayed for, Isaiah 65, 17 to 25. 1. I am sought, Hebrew, I have granted access unto me to them, etc. So Ezekiel 14, 3, should I be inquired of, Ephesians 2, 18. Found, Romans 10, 20 renders this, I was made manifest. As an instance of the sentiment in the clause, I am sought, etc. See John 12, 21, of the sentiment in this clause, Acts 9, 5. Compare as to the Gentile converts, Ephesians 2, 12, 13. Behold me, Isaiah 45, 22. Nation. Not called by my name, that is, the Gentiles. God retorts in their own words, Isaiah 63, 19 that their plea as being exclusively called by his name will not avail, for God's gospel invitation is not so exclusive, Romans 9, 25, 1, 16. 2. Spread out. Hands, inviting them earnestly, Proverbs 1, 24. All. Day continually, late and early, Jeremiah 7, 13. Rebellious people, Israel whose rebellion was the occasion of God's turning to the Gentiles, Romans 11, 11, 12, 15. Way. Not good, that is, the very reverse of good, very bad, Ezekiel 36, 31. 3. Continually, answering to all the day, Isaiah 65, 2. God was continually inviting them, and they continually offending him, Deuteronomy 32, 21. To my face, they made no attempt to hide their sin, Isaiah 3, 9. Compare before me, Exodus 20, 3. In gardens, see on Isaiah 1, 29, Isaiah 66, 17, Leviticus 17, 5. Altars of brick, Hebrew, bricks. God had commanded his altars to be of unhewn stone, Exodus 20, 25. This was in order to separate them, even in external respects, from idolaters, also, as all chiseling was forbidden, they could not inscribe superstitious symbols on them as the heathen did. Bricks were more easily so inscribed than stone, hence their use for the cuneiform inscriptions at Babylon, and also for idolatrous altars. Some, not so well, have supposed that the bricks here mean the flat brick, paved roofs of houses on which they sacrificed to the sun, etc. 2 Kings 23, 12, Jeremiah 19, 13. 4. Remain among graves, namely, for purposes of necromancy, as if to hold converse with the dead, Isaiah 8, 19, 20, compare Mark 5, 3, or, for the sake of purifications, usually performed at night among sepulchres, to appease the manes, more ura. Monuments, Hebrew, pass the night in hidden recesses, either the idols in most shrines, consecrated precincts, horsely, where they used to sleep, 
in order to have divine communications in dreams, Jerome, or better, on account of the parallel graves, sepulchral caves, more Eura. Eat swine's flesh, to eat it at all was contrary to God's law, Leviticus 11, 7, but it much increased their guilt that they ate it in idolatrous sacrifices, compare Isaiah 66, 17. Varro, on agriculture, 2.4, says that swine were first used in sacrifices, the Latins sacrificed a pig to seers, it was also offered on occasion of treaties and marriages. Broth, so called from the pieces, margin, or fragments of bread over which the broth was poured, Gesnius, such broth, made of swine's flesh, offered in sacrifice, was thought to be especially acceptable to the idol and was used in magic rites. Or, fragments, pieces, of abominable foods, etc. This fourth clause explains more fully the third, as the second does the first, more Eura. Is in, rather, literally, is their vessels, that is, constitute their vessels' contents. The Jews, in our Lord's days, and ever since the return from Babylon, have been free from idolatry, still the imagery from idolatrous abominations, as being the sin most loathsome in God's eyes and that most prevalent in Isaiah's time, is employed to describe the foul sin of Israel in all ages, culminating in their killing Messiah, and still rejecting him. 5. Matthew 9, 11, Luke 5, 30, 18, 11, Jude 19. Applicable to the hypocritical self justifiers of our Lord's time. Smoke, alluding to the smoke of their self righteous sacrifices, the fire of God's wrath was kindled at the sight, and exhibited itself in the smoke that breathed forth from his nostrils. In Hebrew, the nose is the seat of anger, and the nostrils distended in wrath, as it were, breathe forth smoke, Rose and Muller, Psalms 18, 8. 6. Written before me, it is decreed by me, namely, what follows, Job 13, 26, more Eura, or, their guilt is recorded before me, compare Daniel 7, 10, Revelation 20, 12, Malachi 3, 16. Into. Bosom, Psalms 79, 12, Jeremiah 32, 18, Luke 6, 38. The Orientals used the loose fold of the garment falling on the bosom all up, as a receptacle for carrying things. The sense thus is, I will repay their sin so abundantly that the hand will not be able to receive it, it will need the spacious fold on the bosom to contain it, Rose and Muller. Rather there it is, I will repay it to the very person from whom it has emanated. Compare God did render the evil of the men of Shishim upon their heads, Judges 9, 57, Psalms 7, 16, Jesnius. 7. Their sin had been accumulating from age to age until God at last repaid it in full. Mountains, Isaiah 57, 7, Ezekiel 18, 6, 20, 27, 28, Hosea 4, 13. There, your head proceeded. From speaking to, he speaks of them, this implies growing alienation from them and greater distance. Work, the full recompense of their work. So Isaiah 49, 4, 8. New wine, as if some grapes having good wine producing juice in them, be found in a cluster which the vine dresser was about to throw away as bad, and one saith, etc. Blessing, that is, good wine producing juice, compare Judges 9, 13, Joel 2, 14. So, God will spare the godly remnant while the ungodly mass of the nation shall be destroyed, Isaiah 1, 9, 6, 13, 10, 21, 11, 11, 12 to 16. My servants, the godly remnant, but hoarsely, for the sake of my servant, Messiah. 9. Seed, the holy seed, Isaiah 6, 13, a posterity from Jacob, designed to repossess the holy land, forfeited by the sin of the former Jews. My mountains, Jerusalem and the rest of Judea, peculiarly God's, 
compare Isaiah 2, 2, 11, 9, 14, 32. It, the Holy Land. Elect, Isaiah 65, 15, 22. 10. Sharon, see on Isaiah 33, 9, Isaiah 35, 2. Acre, meaning trouble, a valley near Jericho, so called from the trouble caused to Israel by Achan's sin, Joshua 7, 24. The valley of Acre, proverbial for whatever caused calamity, shall become proverbial for joy and prosperity, Hosea 2, 15. 11. Holy Mountain, Moriah, on which the temple was. Troop, rather Gad, the Babylonian god of fortune, the planet Jupiter, answering to Bal or Bel, the Arabs called it the greater good fortune, and the planet Venus answering to Mani, the lesser good fortune, Jesnius, Kimchi, etc. Tables were laid out for their idols with all kinds of viands, and a cup containing a mixture of wine and honey, in Egypt especially, on the last day of the year, Jerome. Drink offering, rather, mixed drink. Number, rather, money, as goddess of fortune she was thought to number the fates of men. Vittering who understands Gad to be the sun, money the moon, or Ashtaroth or Astarte, 1 Kings 11, 33. 12. Number, do mu. Alluding to the number, as many, Isaiah 65, 11, means. Retribution in kind, the punishment answering to the sin, compare 2 Chronicles 36, 14 to 17. I called, ye. Not answer, I called, though none had called upon me, Isaiah 64, 7, yet even then none answered. Proverbs 1, 24. Contrast with this God and his people's mutual fellowship in prayer, Isaiah 65, 24. 13. Eat, enjoy all blessings from me, so 5, 1. Hungry, am 4, 6, 8, 11. This may refer to the siege of Jerusalem under Titus, when 1,100,000 are said to have perished by famine. Thus Isaiah 65, 15 will refer to God's people without distinction of Jew and Gentile receiving another name, namely, that of Christians, who began. A further fulfillment may still remain, just before the creation of the new heavens and earth, as the context, Isaiah 65, 17, implies. 14. Howl, Isaiah 15, 2, Matthew 8, 12. 15. Curse, the name of Jew has been for long a formula of execration, compare Jeremiah 29, 22, if one wishes to curse another, he can utter nothing worse than this, God make thee what the Jew is. Contrast the formula, Genesis 48, 20, more Euro. My chosen, the elect church, gathered from Jews and Gentiles, called by another name, Christians, Acts 11. 26. However, see on Isaiah 65, 13, as my chosen, or elect, in Isaiah 65, 9, refers to the seed of Jacob, the believing Jews, hereafter about to possess their land, Isaiah 65, 19, 22, are ultimately meant by my chosen, as contrasted with the unbelieving Jews, ye. These elect Jews shall be called by another, or a new name, that is, shall no longer be forsaken of God for unbelief, but shall be his delight and married to him, Isaiah 62, 2, 4. The, unbelieving Israel. Isaiah here speaks of God, whereas in the preceding sentences God himself spake. This change of persons marks without design how completely the prophet realized God with him and in him, so that he passes, without formally announcing it from God's words to his own, and vice versa, both are like being from God. 16. That he, rather, he who, etc. Blesseth, etc. Psalms 72, 17, Jeremiah 4, 2. God of truth, very God, as opposed to false gods, Hebrew, Amen, the very name of Messiah, 2 Corinthians 1, 20. Revelation 3, 
14, faithful to his promises, John 1, 17, 6, 32, real, substantial, spiritual, eternal, as opposed to the shadowy types of the law. Swearith, etc. God alone shall be appealed to as God, Isaiah 19, 18, Deuteronomy 6, 13, Psalm 63, 11. Troubles, that is, sins, provocations, loath. Rather, calamities caused by your sins, so far from these visiting you again, the very remembrance of them is hid from mine eyes by the magnitude of the blessings I will confer on you, Isaiah 65, 17, etc. More Euro. 17. As Caleb inherited the same land which his feet trod on. Deuteronomy 1, 36, Joshua 14, 9, so Messiah and his saints shall inherit the renovated earth which once they trod while defiled by the enemy, Isaiah 34, 4, 51, 16, 66, 22, Ezekiel 21, 27, Psalms 2, 8, 37, 11, 2 Peter 3, 13, Hebrews 12, 26 to 28, Revelation 21, 1. Not be remembered, see on Isaiah 65, 16, note on troubles, the words here answer to the former. Forgotten, etc. The former sorrows of the earth, under the fall, shall be so far from recurring, that their very remembrance shall be obliterated by the many mercies I will bestow on the new earth. Revelation 21, 4 27. 18. Rejoice forever. Jerusalem, Isaiah 51, 11. Everlasting joy. Zion. Spiritually, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16. 19. Isaiah 62, 5. Weeping. No more. Isaiah 25, 7, 8, 35, 10, Revelation 7, 17, 21, 4, primarily, foretold of Jerusalem, secondarily, of all the redeemed. 20. The longevity of men in the first age of the world shall be enjoyed again. Thence, from that time forward. Infant of days, that is, an infant who shall only complete a few days, short lived. Filled. Days, none shall die without attaining a full old age. Child. Die. Hundred years, that is, he that dieth an hundred years old shall die a mere child, loath. Sinner. Hundred. Be accursed, the sinner that dieth at an hundred years shall be deemed accursed, that is, his death at so early an age, which in those days the hundredth year will be regarded just as if it were mere childhood, shall be deemed the effect of God's special visitation in wrath, Rose and Muller. This passage proves that the better age to come on earth, though much superior to the present will not be a perfect state, sin and death shall have place in it, compare Revelation 20, 7, 8, but much less frequently than now. 21. See on Isaiah 62, 8, Am 9, 14. 22. They shall not experience the curse pronounced, Leviticus 26, 16, Deuteronomy 28, 30. 3. Among the most long-lived of objects in nature. They shall live as long as the trees they plant, compare Isaiah 61, 3, end of verse, Psalms 92, 12. Enjoy, Hebrew, consume, wear out, they shall live to enjoy the last of it. Isaiah 62, 9. 23. Bring forth for trouble, literally, for terror, that is, they shall not bring forth children for a sudden death, Leviticus 26, 16, Jeremiah 15, 8. Seed. Blessed, Isaiah 61, 9. Offspring with them, Hosea 9, 12. Their offspring shall be with themselves, more Euro not brought forth only to be cut off by sudden death, see the parallel clause. 24. Contrast Isaiah 64, 7, none. Calleth, etc., and see on Isaiah 65, 
12, I called, ye did not answer. More Eura translates, they shall hardly, literally, not yet, call, when, literally, and, I will answer, they shall be still speaking, when I will hear, Psalms 32, 5, Daniel 9, 20, 21. 25. See on Isaiah 11, 6. And the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, see on Isaiah 11, 7. And dust, rather, but dust, etc. The curse shall remain on the serpent, hoarsely, Genesis 3, 14, Micah 7, 17. To lick the dust is figurative of the utter and perpetual degradation of Satan and his emissaries, Isaiah 49, 23, Psalm 72, 9. Satan fell self-tempted, therefore no atonement was contrived for him, as there was for man, who fell by his temptation, Jude 6, John 8, 44. From his peculiar connection with the earth and man, it has been conjectured that the exciting cause of his rebellion was God's declaration that human nature was to be raised into union with the Godhead, this was the truth concerning the person of the Son of God which he abode not in. It galled his pride that a lower race was to be raised to that which he had aspired to, 1 Timothy 3, 6. How exultingly he might say, when man fell through him, God would raise manhood into union with himself, I have brought it down below the beasts by sin. At that very moment and spot he was told that the seed of the abhorred race, man, should bruise his head, 1 John 3, 8. He was raised up for this to show forth God's glory, Exodus 9, 16, Romans 9, 17. In his unfallen state he may have been God's vicegerent over the earth and the animal kingdom before man, this will account for his assuming the form of a serpent, Genesis 3, 1. Men succeeded to that office, Genesis 2, 19, 20, but forfeited it by sin, when Satan became prince of this world. Jesus Christ supplants the usurper, and as son of man regains the lost inheritance, Psalms 8, 4-8. The steps in Satan's overthrow are these, he is cast out, first, from heaven, Revelation 12, 7-9, on earth, next, he is bound a thousand years, Revelation 20, 2, 3, finally, he is cast into the lake of fire forever, Revelation 20, 10. The serpents meet, see on Isaiah 11, 8. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, see on Isaiah 11, 9, mountain, see on Isaiah 11, 9, mountain.